Hello, everybody. Good evening from Panama. I hope you had a swell day. We went out to the beach today. As you can see, I'm a little pinker than normal. It was a nice, nice beach day. The sniffles aren't as bad tonight, thank God. Um, been thinking a lot about the Christmas broadcast tomorrow night. What could we can give away? I'll be going over that in a minute. <laughs> you guys are weird. Let's see. Hey, Randy, do you think stable coins will be backed on Pulse Chain one to one like ETH Chain from the time of the first bridge? No, Brenton. No. Um, they're going to have to be wrapped stables, right? So if once the bridge happens, it'll be wrapped Pulse USDC. It won't be the originals. The originals are, go to zero really quick, just like they did on ETH POW and ETH Fair. <laughs> Relaxation three, three, relaxation three twenty. I don't know why you <laughs> you put an ETH address in there, but okay, that's not tonight. That's tomorrow night. VPM <laughs> uh, has mentioned a lot. Your opinion, please. VPM, VPN, as in you know for privacy. I recommend using one, but VPM. If that's if that's what you mean, virtual private network. That's a good idea. Hi, Jeremy. Good evening, Randy. Ready for some much-needed knowledge today? For sure. Exactly, Brenton. I'm like, what, what address? <laughs> we don't need no addresses tonight. Right, like crypto. What's up? What's up? What's up? I just got a message like five minutes ago. I have another, I have a meeting after this. <laughs> oh, man. you. I can always... My wife and I can predict what happens every year. We know that we will lose a bunch of clients in November leading into December. So for two months of the year, we lose about 50% of our clients. And then right around this time, people start contacting us like, hey, we need you to come join our team to help us do this launch or come join us for, you know, we need you to uh, uh, help us out. Just answer some questions, be a consultant type thing. This is the time of year when that happens. So <laughs> it was so funny. I remember early, like six years ago and stuff, my wife would, this time of the year, she'd be freaking out. She'd be like, oh my God, what are we going to do? We lost half our clients. You know, we got a new year coming and, you know, where, where are we going to make sufficient income and that kind of stuff? And then January comes and we're like, oh my God, what are we going to do? We need to hire somebody. <laughs> it's like that every year. Crazy day. So, so many crazy things. Westcott, Lauren, I want some hex. Mingle Junkie, good evening. Merry Christmas to you and the family. Thanks, Vets and Crypto. I appreciate that. Hola, Timothy. Good to see you. Glad you're on. Wanted to ask you something. Okay, Pete, hit it. I'm jealous of the beach. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My wife, she's got a serious head cold that she's had for probably a month now uh, and it's been really bad the last couple of days. So she wanted to go soak in the water. It's really good for you. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Ah, <laughs> no, <laughs> my truck with like 3000 kilometers on it. <laughs> we barely drive at all. It's so funny. Hope all is well with everybody. Do follow Pavka. Very good morning. Good night. Merry Christmas, Crypto Class. Yep. I think I was looking the same thing. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are on time tonight. Hey, Ted. Dr. H, the chiropractor. Good to see you, buddy. Like Movad. Good evening, Hexkins. Corey Geary's in, in has showed up. Love, Rich. Okay. <laughs> Relax and divs. Yep. Oh, speaking of that, let me share the screen real quick. Boom. Look at this, guys. Mel Tony tweeted, fellow Hexkins, how much yield did your Hex T-shares earn you today? Your total T-share times payout per T-share 6.334 times the Hex price at 8 p.m. Eastern, 0.02446. Yeah. So that's uh, not the best price for Hex, but... 
that T share rate of 6.33. I can remember when it was only like two and then it went to four and then it went to five. Now it's six heading to seven, man. If you got T shares, that's a freaking money printer. Hope you're ready. It's uh, I think it's exciting times ahead. Once, once hex, go, you know, we'll be on four chains and hopefully things will start uh, trending back up and to the right. K4K had said in a video that a $40 million market buy will push the hex price to all time high or a dollar. What does he mean? He means somebody needs to come with $40 million <coughs> of USDC right now with this, the same liquidity that we currently have with hex and it will drive the price to a dollar. All it takes is one whale to do it. Um, it'll probably have to be a benevolent whale, right? Uh, most people aren't going to market by $40 million. They're going to try to do OTC deals first, <clears throat> especially when you're talking about that amount of money, or they're going to put in limit orders, try to get it you know, over time. I know smart money will do that, right? So if, if you want $10 million for the hex right now, you have to put your limit orders in layered, uh, you know, like 100,000, 100,000, 100,000. And maybe not do them all at one time. Maybe do it over time so that some big guy with a lot that wants to get out can't just, you know, dump everything on you, right? So there's that too. Um, that's the nice thing about having a decentralized uh, platforms to use because we can see everything on chain. And that's the one of the benefits of Hex. That's how I cannot stand it when people call Hex a scam. Everything's on chain. You can see it all. For example, I'm going to give you an example of what happened today. I got a message from uh, the one of the guys from Orox, and they had a test wallet that they were using, and it had, I don't know, like 80 bucks worth of crypto in it. And uh, somehow the wallet got emptied. And he messaged me. He goes, Randy, he goes, um, the, the test wallet got emptied. I'm like, I never used the test wallet. I, I could see the, the seed phrase because they sent it out to a bunch of us. And I could see the seed phrase. I just never put it in because I had my own crypto, right? So he's like, well, we thought it was you because it had some hex-related stuff in the in the wallet. And I'm like, no, it's not me. And then I, then I asked him to send me all the EtherScan stuff. And it was somebody that owned Hedron. And um, you know, it's a bunch of weird transactions with some Indian projects and things like that. So whoever, uh, so, so what they did is they had it on, a, this is just for fun, right? We were just doing a test wallet. So they put it into a, a Google Doc and sent it to everybody. So apparently somebody is not using 2FA on their Google account. So if you're not using 2FA on your Google, Google account, you're asking to get wrecked. Serious. Two, you never put seed phrases in a Google Doc because it can, a lot of people can see it, right? Uh, or anything online. You always write down, you always put them away in a safe place, safety deposit box, you know, stamp them in the metal, do something, right? But this is just a test wallet for fun. It had, it, was, it wasn't that very important. But they immediately thought it was mine <laughs> just because I had some hex related stuff, or it was me because it had some hex related stuff in it. It's like, no, 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 I'm, just, I'm not bothering with that. I use my own crypto. Hey, Francis. Be careful out there, guys. Do not use Dropbox. Do not use Google Docs. Don't send anything across like that. Um, if there's somebody in the chain that isn't using uh, safe precautions on their computer and they open up that Google Doc, whoop, somebody else got it. Bono said, uh, Bon Natale, Mimico. Pete Stav. Yeah, $40 million. That's... That's not a lot of money in, in this world when it comes to crypto, guys. Almost fell asleep. I'm waiting for you. Annabelle, it's just a cycle and you always survive. Love and hugs. Yep. My mom knows. My mom knows the cycles. <laughs> she's the she's the one we call because she's a fellow entrepreneur. She gets it. Give some Pulse Chain merch. That would be nice. I'm not going to give away any merch, guys. I live in Panama. Um, so I'm doing all crypto. It's easy for me. Uh, I'm just just how it's gonna be, guys. I had somebody that wanted to give away money, like USD, like a thousand dollars worth, and um, just because they wanted to keep it in their wallet, they wanted to handle it and they wanted to disperse it. I was like, I can't do that, you know. Period. Because what if they don't send it? Then I'm on the hook, right? 
So I said, look, I'm just going to keep it to myself and I give away my stuff and uh, keep it clean. It's the best way to go. How will you send us prize, our prizes tomorrow? It's all going to be via, via blockchain. So let's go through that really quick. All right. So first up is uh, Hex. I'll probably give away a thousand Hex or something like that. Um, I know it's not a ton, but it's like 25 bucks worth of Hex, right? Give away a thousand Hex. Um, I'm going to give away uh, five D shares of Pulse Doge. So those are about 15 bucks each. Um, and Pulse Doge on Ethereum, not Pulse Doge on uh, BSC. So just smell like firecrackers. Pulse Doge. Um, I'll probably give away um, 20, 20 bucks or so of AGX, which is a silver coin. It's backed by physical silver um, from the load project. Probably give away 20 bucks worth of AUX, which is the gold coin. I'll give away um, 20 uh, load tokens. And they're about uh, $5 each right now. So that's 100 bucks. And uh, I'll tell you a story in a second about load. A good one that happened over the last 24 hours. So load, that's their DAO token. And then I'm going to give away um, 50,000 Pulse Chain twice. So that'd be 100,000 total Pulse Chain and 50,000 Pulse X twice. Now I understand that they're not launched yet, so we'll have to keep in touch and I'll have to send you it once it's live. But um, there you go. I think that's everything that I that I had in mind. Um, oh, and Urus. I'll give away one Urus token because they're expensive. <laughs> they're like 22 to bucks each. So, um, And anybody who's using the Aurox wallet, they'll appreciate it because all you have to do is stake the token and you'll be able to use all of their... Um, all of their uh, add-ons that they have on their sites. So someone complained the other day, like, oh my God, I don't like Urus be or Aurox because they're going to charge us for stuff. Look, they have a token called Urus. That is their utility token. The utility is that you don't need to pay monthly for their services to be able to use all the assets that they have, all the, all the utilities that they have within their platforms, whether it be the wallet or the trading platform and all that kind of stuff. All you have to do is have a couple URUS tokens staked, and it's based on the USD value of the URUS tokens rather than the um, uh, the amount of tokens that you have. So at the peak of the last market, URUS, they were $300 each. The day that they uh, they went on Yahoo, Yahoo Finance, and they were $300 each. And this year they're supposed to go public. So <laughs> I think it'll do just fine. So I'm so trying to get... Urus out of my hands is going to be difficult, but I'll give you guys one. Why not? I'll just replace it. So that's that's what we're giving out. It's about, I'm guessing, $400 to $500 worth of stuff, depending on what the prices are. X-Force One, good evening. VPN, yes, I have big thumbs. <laughs> yeah. I recommend getting a VPN uh, just, just for security's sake. I don't have one to recommend for you because there's so many. And I don't even want to say which one I use. But there's plenty of them out there. A lot of them, you know, you can get 19 bucks for the whole year. Hey, Ben. Good to see you. Ox Sparky, up late catching live. What's up, Brandy? You the man. What's up, Hexkins, fellow ANCAPs? Happy holidays. Good evening to you. Sandeep, good morning. <laughs> Other side of the planet, TFX, TFX. Every time I read this, <laughs> good evening, Santa Whale, Crypto Cashew. I am not a whale, but we're close. We're getting there. What up, Hexkins and all? Brian Magruder's in town. Hey, Brian. Brian is the our swag guy. <laughs> if you're looking for these hats, I, I, Brian, I don't know if I'm calling you out here, but if these, this is where you get these hats. They're really cool. Brian, do you have a shop or something that people can get these? In Kingsway? Randy, I think I've been living under a rock. People were talking about Chia token. Have you any thoughts on this one? I have heard of Chia, but I have no idea what it does. Sorry, TFX. I just, I don't pay attention to everything. Sorry. 
Bonjour, CJ. I missed the party on Monday. I had my nephew's graduation ceremony to attend. Hope I, I can meet you one day. For sure, proud of Hexagon. Um, I had a couple people that messaged me. They're they trying to come, but they missed out. I gave out if Richard's watch or Richard's going to be listening tomorrow morning. I, Brian, I gave Richard one, one of our, our hex skins, gave him one of these hats. Guy never looked so good. <laughs> he was rocking it at the party on Monday night. Oh, good. Orox wallet, how to add net, new network address. Can't add somehow actually to say the flashbot, flashbot RPC one. Pavka, I'm not sure. I haven't actually had to try adding an RPC yet. They're supposed to have an update last night, a really big update. So um, hopefully soon, if that's not available yet. I need to get into the Discord. See, I don't like using Discord very much, and that's that's a big fault of mine when it comes to crypto because a lot of projects like to use Discord. So i got to go in like once a week and go check all the messages and all that, all the different projects. I much prefer Telegram when it comes to like communicating with the teams and stuff. Ted said something with the Oracle wallet that is. What would you say, Ted? Let me find it. Well, I don't know. I must have missed it, Ted. I don't see it. Tin Top. Good to see you, Tin Top. Seasons greetings, Randy, and everyone from the UK. Oh, wow, Andy99, you're up early. And Trones. David, Randy, what do you think of about arbitrage? Arbitrage as in trying to get, a, you know, you have a discount over here and then you try to move it. Well, that's how the FTX guy got big. That's how that's how he got rich because he was moving. He was buying uh, cheap Bitcoin in the U.S. and selling it for a much higher price in Japan. And he did that for a while. That was his big business. He made a lot of cash in the beginning doing that. Um, not that I want to give him any accolades, but if you could find a good arbitrage opportunity, you keep it to yourself for as long as you possibly can and uh, make some money on it. <laughs> it's rare. I mean, I, I've ran across a couple in the past and I, it always lasted a few minutes. It doesn't last long. Just be careful with it because you got to pay fees to move stuff around and then you get in. What happens a lot of times for arbitrage, especially back in the day when I did it, it was mostly centralized exchanges. So I'd have to move crypto from one exchange to the other. And it always took time because they wanted to validate, verify before it hit your wallet. So you're just sitting there like, oh man, oh man, come on, hit it, hit it. Because <laughs> the coin was a dollar cheaper or we'll say 10% cheaper on another exchange. So you're trying to move it so you can make it 10% on a thousand or two thousand dollars. But no, <laughs> it rarely worked. By the time you get it over there, the arbitrage opportunity is gone because somebody else beat you to it. Looking forward to being able to say that 40 million isn't that much. Glenn Trones, I get it. I get it. It's when you hang out with whales, when you when you meet some of the people I've met, <laughs> I'm just like, they, they the way they talk about money is so different than most of us were raised, right? My family, we didn't talk about money. It was just a it was a subject that didn't really get brought up. Um then when I joined the Navy, I had a couple friends that they would save every paycheck, right? I, I had this one <clears throat> friend named Mayo in, in boot camp and then in, in A school. That's our my medical, my nursing school. And by the time we finished A school, so you're talking about in the Navy, probably about seven months at that time, you had a nice little stack of checks going. I didn't have any checks. <laughs> I spent all mine, you know, because I was living in Chicago. I was living the high life. You know, every weekend we're going out, spending a couple hundred bucks on stuff. Um, so that's when I first started learning a different perspective of money. And I'll never forget Mayo because he was a guy who saved every penny. He took advantage of the military like no one else did. Free food, totally socialized, right? Everything's social, or socialism. So he wake up in the morning, he go eat breakfast at the chow hall or the mess, whatever you want to call it. He go work out all day. And here, me and my friends, we're going out, we're ordering pizzas and stuff like this. This guy, he ate at the mess deck every day. <laughs> that was it. You know, he was in great shape, always PTing, always at the gym, going to play basketball. He was always there. Yeah. So that's when I first had a change of mindset. And I understand, looking back now, that's a small change. 
but incremental small changes end up being big changes, right? Evening, guys. Hi, Cryptic Life. Dgen Dougie. <laughs> That's a good rap name. Merry Christmas and Happy Hanukkah. That's right. Hanukkah has begun. I think we're in day three or something. Z, you're welcome. Crypto Bigfoot, Merry Christmas. Westcott, Loren. No PP for us tomorrow? No, I don't have any PP to give away. I didn't sacrifice much for PP, so I only have a couple hundred bucks worth and I'm not giving it up. Hex, yes. How much do you have to stake to unlock features in... Oh, you're talking about in Orox? Each each one of those features is different. Um, but there's different levels. There's very few things that you need to stake for right now. Everything's been free for so long. Uh, someone that was freaking out, I don't understand why they were freaking out because I've been using Orox since 2017 and I've never had to pay for anything. Um, it, what are you saying made no sense to me. I think he just understood that soon you're going to have to start paying for Orox. Well, in reality, is that soon you need to start staking a couple of Oris tokens to make sure that everything is still free for you. That, that's what I think is going on. But I need to catch up with uh, Yorgi, the CEO. Hey, Ben Bana. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm wrecked, but my hex is way up over Bitcoin and Ethereum over the last two years. Oh, Brian, you don't sell them. Bummers. Yeah. Richard got the hat, Brian. He was so happy. <laughs> Motorcycle, crypto Bigfoot. Happy Hanukkah to everyone else. Yep. Yeah. Trend. Happy, happy Christmas. Happy Merry Christmas, RH. All the best for the new year. Thank you, buddy. Appreciate it. Enjoy the show, folks. Smash the likes. Yes, please. Tomorrow night's gonna be a lot of fun. I wonder how many other folks are gonna come in. I'm not gonna do a lot of marketing. Okay. I'm not gonna share it all over the place. I'm gonna share it once again tomorrow. I'm hoping that we get about 200 people in. Uh, I think that's plenty. And. Uh, then, because I want to keep the regulars. I want I want the regulars to win. I don't want people just coming in trying to get a free giveaway, right? MJ Money, good evening, Randy. What party did I miss some money? We had a, a Hex slash crypto party here at the Irish pub on Monday night. It was popping. We had a good old time. Hi, Randy. Feliz Navidad to you and your family from Largo, Florida. Thank you, David. Feliz Navidad to you. Hey, Randy. Steve, how's the, how's the weather in the Northwest? Hi, Randy. It's me, Gustavo, from Library Latam. Hey, Gustavo. Hoping you and your family have a fantastic holidays. One of my former co-workers at a library. Told you guys I worked with library. <laughs> there you go. Gustavo, our buddy from Mexico. Gustavo, make sure you show up tomorrow night. Mañana en la noche. Por fiesta de la Navidad. Annabella Saki. Steve, thank you. Soldier Pete, go Randy. First Christmas access giveaway. <laughs> Looking forward to it. Me too, man. I haven't done one since um, 20, Christmas 2017 was the last time we did one. And that's when we were really big in Steam and Steam it. It was fun. It was like a professional production and everything. We had a team. We paid a team like 500 bucks and we had a good old time. This one, with the technology that we have today, it's way better than 2018. I could just do it right here in my house. I don't need to go do it at some location. This works good. <laughs> Favorite streamer, Crypto7. Uh, he messaged me, apologized, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes for him. There needs to be way more education on money in public schools. Yes, there is. A huge, huge need. Mayo sounds like he would have exceeded really well if he invested in the Hex early diamond hands. Yeah, that mofo was a diamond-handed fool. He knew exactly. <laughs> he was the most diamond-handed guy I ever met. I bet you he's a, I bet you he's a billionaire by now. Ah, Ted, Ted, Ted. I'll try to find it. I'll try to find it. I see you said hello, Ted. With the Oryx wallet, that is. I, I, that see the thing is, I I don't see, I don't see the question. Someone hide it. 
guys, please be careful when you're when you're uh, hiding questions. I just see the hello, and then I see, did you see the question? No, I don't have it there. Well, there we'll be there tomorrow at night. Yep, uh, 10, same time, it's 10 p.m. Eastern. Randy, can I book load or ask for my present? <laughs> Soldier, we'll see. The link, PT scripts, the, the link for what? For the show tomorrow? Um, yeah, I guess I could put it in here for you guys. Uh, there it is. Okay. I'm going to put the link in here so you guys could make sure you got your you get it YouTube to tell you that it's on. Yeah, there you go. All right. Cool. You're welcome. Okay, let's do charts. That's the how you guys like the cover photo for it. <laughs> Halarski Christmas crypto Christmas special. I got my Pulse Doge character, the um, Orox uh, AUX token. There's also the AGX token, which is the silver version, and the load token. But I didn't have enough space to put all of them on there. We have Pulse X, we have Orox Aurus token, we have Pulse Chain, and we have Hex. So a little bit of everything. Where's the charts? Here we go. Oh, I want to show you this. I want to show you guys this. So first, uh, let me explain what happened yesterday. All right. So I was sitting on the couch. It was Monday night. And um, <clears throat> right after the party, I'm still a little bit inebriated. <laughs> it was about 1 a.m. And I happened to look at my deck screener. And I saw that load token was like two dollars and twenty cents and just a couple days before it was four bucks a couple days before that it was five bucks so i'm thinking what's going on so i mess messaged the founder and he's in vancouver so i know he's he it's a possibility that he's still up and i'm like hey i said what's what's going on with uh with the load token did i don't understand why is the price dipping like it's down 60 percent today and he's like oh i didn't see that well let me check. So over the course of a couple hours, um, they finally got back to me with why. Well, apparently, and I'll pull up the chart. Apparently, there was an article that came out right, you know, right around here. Uh, wait, what's Monday? Uh, it was right here. So there was an article that came out on, on CoinMarketCap that was an erroneous article. They had the load token in the article there was about some project that was going down that was, you know, that was a rug or something, something bad, right? But they put the wrong name of the token. They put load as in this one, the the gold and silver Dow token. And <laughs> oh my God, the token went from well on, on Saturday last week, it was 450. And I, then it went all the way down to $1.90. And here's me. You could see me. This is me. <laughs> I was buying a shit ton <laughs> between, between $2.20 and, and, and $2.30. I was just buying it up because I said, there's something wrong here. This can't be. I said, there's nothing. And, you know, it's already bedtime. I said, okay, I got to go to bed. I can't do anything more. So I wake up in the morning and it's dipped even more. But I got a message from one of the guys right around here. And he said, oh, that told me about the article and um, there was something else that happened too with uh, some staking rewards somewhere. So uh, those two things together caused a, a bunch of sales. So I picked up a whole bunch right in here. And this, this is what I'm talking about, paying attention to your crypto space, paying attention to the projects that you own and what you're involved in because you there's small windows of opportunity to do something. So I bought a whole bunch here. And then look, I come home from the park tonight with my son, and boom, we're back up to $4.85. That's what I'm talking about. Those are the opportunities that come by when you're paying attention. And um, I told my wife, I said, well, I guess uh, Christmas tomorrow night is paid for. 
because <laughs> we made plenty of money today uh, off the load token and uh, just giving it to you guys. So that was, that was really cool. You know, always pay attention. You know, I, I people, you know, when you're on vacation stuff, yes, I understand. But if, if you're dialed in, check your prices twice a day, once in the morning, once at night. See if you can find an opportunity for a good market buy. Because sometimes you don't have your limit orders, right? You don't want to have your limit orders. But market buys are always ready for you. And so I market bought the shit out of it that night at $2.20. And um, paid off big, more than 100% in less than 24 hours. So just pay attention, guys. Just check Randy's channel. The live is listed. Yeah, you can do that. I, I have put the link there, though, direct to it. Love the Pulse Doge art style. <laughs> These guys, I think it's going to do very well. What do you use to make your thumbnails? Uh, Pick Monkey. I use Pick Monkey. If you want a, if you want a referral link to it, let me know. It's free, but the, the, obviously the paid version is really good. It's like 20 bucks a year or something. Blackaroni, what's up? SC, thank you. Jason Castillo, thanks for the live streams, Randy. Salute. Appreciate it. I'm here to help out. I saw that on deck screen and was wondering why it scared the hell out of me. <laughs> yeah, that's what happens when when FUD, that's when fake FUD comes through. Remember, I was just talking about it last night uh, or, or the other night about uh, the, the time when uh, someone put an article out there on one on Coindesk or something that uh, Vitalik died and the, the Ethereum price just totally tanked. It's the same idea. What if something came out that someone said that, that Richard died? Just made some FUD. And got, what do you think the hex price will do? It's the same thing. Same kind of idea. So there's this massive FUD about load, and it was the wrong token. <laughs> hey, people listen to FUD, they get wrecked. Hello, Francis. All right, let's go back to uh, charts. But I thought that was, I thought that was really interesting to show you guys. Let's go Bitcoin first. All right, so Bitcoin in the monthly, we are at 16,847. Is this the calm before the storm again? Are we getting ready to take another drop or is it going up? The RX indicator says we're going up. We are now on the 21st of the month. We have one week left in this month, uh, a little bit more, you know, eight, nine days. My guess is that we're going to go up. And up a lot? Nah. But up a little bit? Yeah. I think the end of the year, we get a nice little pump. Uh, before the end of this new moon. So the next five five days or so, we should get a nice little pump going into Christmas. And here, demand index is still kind of low. It's below zero. I don't like seeing that, but what can we do? If you're in greed, still got the three yellows. We just got a buy indicator right here. Yesterday, we are confirmed. So like I said, if I was still a trader, and I got this confirmation, I would be buying right now. So yesterday we got the buy indicator at 16,750. That was the low yesterday. And today you could have gotten it at 66819 or so. And today it pumped to 6889. I think we're gonna have a nice little step ladder up. Probably do something like this. And then we'll do something like this, <laughs> which is so typical of Bitcoin. Ethereum, still, we still didn't get the green arcs indicator again yet. Hmm, I'm waiting on that. We'll see if that comes back. Okay, we still got, we're in the third day of a green. So if you got right here at 1164 and we're still at 1213, it's a pretty good trade. We need to get this go back up zero though. People don't realize the importance of the, the DI. So let me let me tell you guys what that indicator means really quick. I'll just remind you because there's a lot of people that come and go here. Where is it? Demand index. It's this one. This indicator is one of the most powerful indicators in a trader's tool set. And unfortunately, most charting platforms do not support it or have incorrect algorithms. <laughs> cough, cough, trading view. In general, the cross above or below the zero line can signal a change in trend. Therefore, if we see the DI line, 
crossing the zero line up or down, it could signify a shift in the market. So that's what we're looking at here. We want to get back above zero so that we have a shift in the market. Um, on the day, I, I'm not too worried about it on the daily, but I mean, on yeah, the daily, I'm worried about it on the monthly. It's just below right now. And let's look at it, the weekly. Yeah, it's just below. Not too far below. Won't take much to get that back up there. All right, Hex. Hex is geez, still down another 2.44% today. What's going on, guys? All right, this green for the MASMA, I hope that crosses over. The uh, We have the confirmation that in November that we had the green rocks syndicator. But <laughs> if it falls below here, then it'll probably go red. So we'll have green, red, hopefully another green, red, green, whatever. It'll have, be a nice battle telling us that we're at the bottom of the market, just like we had here. Green, red, green, red. Then we, went, then we bled out, right? Well, let's hope we have green, red, green, red, green, and we head up. That's what I'm hoping for. Check the daily. Yeah, it's still... Still kind of trending down. These that's, that MA and SMA are just staying right next to each other. And then <laughs> this DI is so fugly. Oh man. But not as fugly as Hedron. Dang. Hedron's down another 2.24% today. Come on, Hedron. Find your legs, buddy. We've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days of. Red Orox indicator, but we've had nine days or nine weeks, sorry, weeks, uh, 56 days worth of red candles. Seriously. It doesn't get much worse than that. So that was the, that was the most brutal buy the rumor, sell the news event that I've seen in a long time. Here's the, the daily. We got the sell. We had that long run for the buy, but it just when that guy sold all those hedron last weekend or a week ago, it really just destroyed the market for now. Okay. Sorry guys, there's not much good news on the on the hex pairs um, and Ethereum or hex and Icosa and all that lovely stuff. Let me check the price of Icosa real quick. How do I get out of this? You guys can't even see what I'm doing right now, but it's okay. There we go. I want to check Icosa for you. 42 and a half cents. It's up 1.56% today. Well, the good news is you, you better have that shit staked. Because if you have it staked, then you're not losing that much. But if you're not staked, ouch. You're getting butchered. Hex Thailand's in the house. Good to see you. Friends of Silo Jesus. Will of Dreams, glad to make your live stream. So, uh, my former junior corpsman is in the house. This person is one of the nicest people you'll ever meet. <laughs> uh, please don't put that juju on Richard. Exactly, Brenton. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Make, make sure you come tomorrow night because we're doing our Christmas giveaway. It's going to be a lot of fun. Giving away, I think, about five to, five to 600 bucks worth of crypto tomorrow night. We need Pulse Chain first. Yeah, we do. Hey, Randy, do you know of any good off-ramps? Off-ramps? Yeah, I got lots of good off-ramps. I live in Panama. I just walk down the street, <laughs> go over to my buddy's office. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Counts it out for me in the, with the counting machine. Yeah, that's my off-ramps. We also have all kinds of banks here and stuff like that. But but for you guys, I really don't know, man. I know that most Americans are going to choose Coinbase, right? Or Kraken, those kind of things to connect your bank account to. But I don't like any of them. I, I like I like meeting with a person, doing the transaction face to face. I think that's the best best option. Um, we used to use another cool program. Uh, where it was peer to peer. And I just had a somebody in the community message me. I'm trying to think. Um, 
I won't say the name, but they messaged me saying that they're looking to build a peer-to-peer -peer system within the Hex community where we can do these kind of things. Wouldn't that be really good? So, for example, if you guys wondering what I'm talking about, peer-to-peer peer -to -peer means you have $100 worth of crypto or $100 of USDC or, or USDT or any of the stable US dollar stable coins, and you want to change it to another crypto within the Hex community, say Hex or Pulse Chain, Pulse X, something like that, there's an escrow system that's built right in and you can connect your bank account to it and all this and it all be done with the escrow system holding your money so you guys don't have to trust each other that much. And that's what Anna did for years. She did a bunch of those different kinds of platforms. Works good, uh, but usually there's a fee involved. It's usually 4 or 5% or something like that. So I don't know. I like peer-to-peer. I don't want bankers involved <laughs> like Sam Bankman Freed or any of those people. Randy will be, what will be the criteria to win tomorrow? Will people simply need to submit a burner address? Will you do a trivia or there be some mechanism to qualify? Thanks for your streams. Jaja, I'm just, we're just going to have fun. And um, I'll just, I have a system that's built uh, specifically for StreamYard. And it'll just do a search each time. And I'll just use different uh, hashtags that I want people to put in the chat. And it'll select one of you guys that puts the hashtag in. Period. Nice and simple. I'm, I, even though I love for you to subscribe to my channel, if you don't, I don't give a shit. <laughs> All I care is that you show up. We have some fun. We, we give away some crypto. And that's it. All right. Now... There's some people that are going to take advantage. We know. Uh, what was the what was the guy? What was the name on Hexo's stream? The guy that won like a whole bunch of hex. I mean, it was a shit ton of hex before the price went up. Uh, some African dude, and he 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 had has some criteria. He didn't fill out. He didn't do it properly. He didn't. He wasn't following Hexo on Twitter. He wasn't subscribed. Those kind of things, and. Um, he ended up not getting that. That would have been life-changing money for sure because it was a lot. Yeah, it's good to blow to 210. Oh, man, 10 top. I don't think it was going to bounce back so fast, but a double in a day. Pays to pay attention to have a little dry powder sitting in limit orders. Damn straight, 10 top. Way to go, man. Way to go. I'm surprised you didn't message me asking me what was going on. Um, sometimes we know. And I have because I was the one that saw it happen. I was the first to know, <laughs> you know, the guys got back to me the next day and they're like, Oh, this is what went on. I'm like, Oh, cool. ATX. How you doing, sir? Fellow Marine, even though I'm not a Marine, but you know, Navy guys, I love to make fun of Marines. You guys are in the Navy. <laughs> we need RH to give refund for the failed pulse chain project before the SEC gets them. Oh, really? C, Z, 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 Z. Interesting. Good luck with that, man. Good luck with that. Nagarjuna Magati. People understand underestimating hex. Going to hit new all-time high by PLS launch. And don't surprise, even 100x a massive dump after launch. Uh, 100x before launch of Pulse Chain? Are you talking about hex doing 100x? I don't know about that. That seems very, very... Uh, optimistic <laughs> i'd be happy i'd be thrilled if we did a 10x in the next year seriously but you know 100x i'll take it do you think randy icosa could drop 85 percent to 15 cents in the next six months plus the ceiling price keeps dropping any suggestions thanks make sure you're staked make sure they have those coins um in the in the system staked and earning yield every day because that's the only thing that's keeping us from being absolutely wrecked with the prices. Um, you, if the price drops 90%, but you're earning 400% yield in a year, you're not, you're not worried too much. And then when the market turns around, things start going back up, we're going to be happy campers. I'm almost a turtle in hex. Oh, really, Will? Nice. I did not know you were even in crypto yet. Awesome. I'll, I'll make sure you're taken care of. Hey, Renny, how do you mint the Icosa from a Hedron stake? Have to end the stake? Yeah, you, you have to end the stake. I want to keep it going. Just want just want to claim the Icosa. Yeah, 
you don't have an option for that. Because what happens when you end a stake is how I understand it. I could be wrong. Crypto sloth, where are you? <laughs> let's let's put up the, the the sloth in the sky so he shows up. The way I understand it is when when you end a stake, it's like you're you're losing the same thing as T shares, but within the Icosa platform. So it's better to keep it staked. Uh, so that's that's what I'm doing. I did unstake one, and now it's earning less than when I when it was half and staked. So be careful. I regret unstaking it now. Do you think we'll see any more sex go down soon? Uh, it's possible, Brenton. It's possible, but I mean, the only one that will really affect the market, or okay, there's two that will affect the market, in my opinion. That will be Kraken and uh, Binance. But if if either of those stick around, those are the pillars of the centralized exchanges. So I don't think they're going anywhere. Oh, man, Bunga Bunga. That was it. <laughs> bunga Bunga. Bunga Bunga screwed up and lost a lot of fucking money that night. <laughs> Can you imagine how depressed Bunga Bunga was, you know, two years later or a year and a half later when, when Hex was 56 cents? <laughs> oh, man. Hey, into the fire. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you. Another OG from back in the day. Oh, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra's like, you are hallucinating, bro. <laughs> it's a little bit hitting the good shit. <laughs> it's laced with something. One inch has a peer to peer, really. We just need a Telegram chat or site to list bids and ask. Oh, yeah, that's cool, Tintop. Well, hopefully, we'll have all this in the Hex ecosystem. I I'm hoping. I like to keep the money within the people that, that believe in what we're doing, right? Danny boy, yeah, the bunga. <laughs> that was the eventual winner. 150,000 hex. Thank you, bunga bunga. Way to go. Okay, let's do the math on that. 150,000. So I think that's like four grand, right? 150,000 times 0 0.025. 3750. All right. So if you had that stake, you should have probably made another 60 to 80,000 hex by now. So that'd be like almost six grand <laughs> or five or six grand. <laughs> nice giveaway. Remember that uh, the giveaway that they did for the, the ladies of Hex? And uh, Anna won, my wife won the one, I think it was 167,000 Hex. Yeah, that was, I just staked it for my son, put it out 15 years. I looked at that stake the other day. I'm like, holy hell. <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching. My kid's going to be doing pretty good. Yeah, we had we used to have fun on on yeah, we had a lot of fun on Hexo Show back in the day. Marine Corps, aka Department of the Navy. Yeah, <laughs> that's what a lot of people don't understand. They think the Marines is, is its own thing. We're just we're just their water taxis. Hey, Marion, are you feeling better, Marion? I coast definitely a long term hold with staking. Yeah. Just forget about it. Just let it just let it keep printing you new money. So when you get new ICOSA, go and stake it in a new wallet or add to the current stake. Just keep doing that. Just keep doing that. Keep doing that. You're going to be so happy. Why Richard delay version 3 testnet? Testnet is supposed for testing. Don't need to be perfect. Ben Bana? I don't know, man. I don't know. We already had version 2B, but that was for BSC version, obviously. So now we change to the uh, ETH. Hey, got a little ant here. Uh, ETH two three two point oh. There we go. Um, so there are some changes. He did put out a tweet the other day. Go check it out. It was talking tech stuff. Way above my head, man. Look, I'm a nurse. <laughs> you ask me that shit, I I get it. But you, you ask me uh, techy techy stuff. No, no, no. Hey, Rick. See you. Blizzard again this weekend upstate. I saw the map and I saw how cold it looks like it's getting. I'm so glad I'm not home. Can you guys, can you guys believe I haven't been home to upstate New York since when I sold my house? Yeah, so that was 2014. My God, it's 
been so long. I staked it all for 55 55 before big payday. So I did, holy shit. That's right. I forgot about big payday. So now that's like maybe 360, 380,000 hacks or something. That's awesome. <laughs> what is your opinion on 270 million dies sitting in a Pulse X SAC address? Genius. Think about this. We just sacrificed our money into a project that has $270 million in it. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, this is Pulse Chain and Pulse X. Both of them have a whole bunch of USD sitting just dormant. What will this money be used for? What do you think? I don't, you don't need to say it, you don't need to type it out, but in your mind, what do you think Richard and the team are gonna do with that money? Yeah. Richard wants his name stamped in history as the best founder in crypto history. So just think about that. There we go. Will it sit there idle or buy up hex until mainnet to make less p hex available? Oh, I don't think that's what it'll be used for. No, that not not my opinion. I think it'll be used to make all the projects once pulse chains launched it'll make everything look phenomenal he has to delay because people are expecting pulse chain to launch shortly after testnet version three yeah that's i feel that way too as somebody who's been through a lot of these launches not version ones not not evms those kind of things um ethereum virtual machines but just you know i've been part of 40 projects more now geez like they keep I keep getting involved with these projects. You guys, people have expectations, right? And when you put out a test net, test nets usually don't last that long. Usually a test net is a couple weeks, a month, eight weeks, and then we're on, we're, we're ready to go. So I think that that could be, that's valid. The ATX, that's totally valid. Nice warm summer day in Australia, Ren. Yeah, Ren. You live in the Southern Hemisphere. You guys got a nice, nice summer. We were talking about going down to Argentina for a couple weeks because it's like a seven-hour flight from here. Look, I'm in Panama. Do you guys realize it? just to go to Buenos Aires, it's seven hours. It's only four hours for me to go to New York. Seven to go to Buenos Aires. <laughs> I think it's for liquidity to, or to protect the price from bad actors trying to dump it. Yep. Tim Top nailed it. Maybe it's time for a visit. <laughs> yes, mom, please come down. Your grandson would love to see you. Little shit. <laughs> My kid's a trip, man. Oh, God. Timothy Leary was speaking to a crowd in Buffalo, New York, when he said, Buffalo is an intelligence test, all of whose inhabitants have failed. <laughs> hey, I got the hell out of there. My mom, though, my mom stuck around. <laughs> she, she loves it up there. Oh, man. On Friday, PA is going from 53 degrees to 7 degrees in 12 hours. This will suck. Yes, it will. <laughs> Sorry you guys have to deal with that. Yeah, liquidity providing is one of them. Uh, market maker. If you guys, I'm not going to go into the, what a market maker is, but start learning about market making. And a lot of the questions that you guys have about the money that's in the wallets will be answered if you understand what a market maker is. Do you offer AMP through AirTM or Uphold? Nope, nope, none of those products can. Nope. I use peer-to-peer -peer or we, my wife and I use peer-to-peer -peer or we just go to offices and we got crypto ATMs all over Panama. Bright light, going to the moon. Richard wants that Nobel prize. Yeah, he, he does. Have you guys seen this one yet? My little rocket. <laughs> oh, God. You guys, I, I'm, you know what I'm going to have to start teaching, get you guys ready for, is the sudden wealth syndrome. When you go from having, you know, go from making a couple thousand dollars a month to all of a sudden you're making a hundred grand a month and then 
all of a sudden you have seven, eight figures. We got to start talking about that. And I would love to bring people on that have much more experience than me when it comes to that, but they can tell you how to prepare mentally for these things. Because if, especially for the ones who did get the opportunity to sacrifice, you guys' lives could change dramatically in the next year. Dramatically. Imagine if something does a 500X. <laughs> it's bonkers. He wants that Nobel Prize. He sure does. I have heard you say Fluffy Pony told you privacy coins are not to be held for speculative value. Still curious. What is your current pri favorite privacy coin chain solution? Well, the only one I, I really... I'm still a fan, even though I cannot stand the founder, I'm still a fan of Epic Cash just because it's a Mimblewimble project. So it's very simple. Uh, yeah. Using the wallets isn't very simple, but you know, it, it was just uh, the way they did it was really good. Okay. And it's still around, but getting the coins is so difficult. So that's my only problem with Epic Cash. So that's where I would say, but be careful with privacy coins. Don't ever buy them on an exchange. Then send them to your wallets. Mimble Wimble doesn't matter because they use CoinJoin. And, oh, geez, I can't remember the, the, the Mimble Wimble protocol. So things get obfuscated, so it can't be seen. But the cool thing, the one thing I, I loved about Epic Cash is that no one could ever see what's in your wallet. Only you on your computer. That's it. No one else can see it. But the second you send a transaction, it goes across the web and then it can be seen. So say if you have 5,000 Epic Cash sitting in your wallet and then you send one Epic Cash across the web to somebody else's wallet, then it can be seen. And, and that's the, the only issue I have with it, right? So we'll see. Just, just use them as little as possible. When Pulse Chain launches, hopefully we have some really good tools. Um, I know Cult DAO, the layer two solution that they're doing, the layer two EVM like Polygon, for example, theirs is going to have privacy built into it. So that's one of the reasons why I still like Cult DAO. Not because I think it's going to get me rich or anything, but because I like the fact that you'll have the option of privacy. Is there a good peer to peer? So, yes, there is, but I cannot for the life of me, remember the name. We just got a new one. Um, the last two that we've had have shut down. This new one popped up. The the guy my wife uses for her accounts, he messaged her. He said, okay, Anna, follow me here <laughs> to this new site. So, you know, the government likes to come in with the hammers and smash down the peer-to-peer -peer sites. And like I said, there's going to be one, it looks like coming to Pulse Chain. The gentleman messaged me and said they're, they're building one. Yeah, Brent, you guys, you're going to need to understand sudden wealth. It, seriously. I'm pretty stingy when it uh, comes to spending. I have to twist my arm to buy anything expensive besides investments. <laughs> well, you're like my friend Mayo. <laughs> he didn't spend all his money. Good, good on you. I'm down with getting taught about sudden wealth syndrome so I don't wreck myself or my family. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Thank you for another great stream, bro. TechSex, you are welcome. Alaska Fisherman. I haven't checked yet, but is version three out yet? No, Alaska Fisherman, but we it's imminent, in my opinion. Uh, Katie put out a really good uh, tweet. Let me see. Let me share. Well, actually, let me go look for it first. He's pretty knowledgeable. She knows her shit. Yeah, let me see here. Let me share it for you guys. All right. Oh, here's this is interesting. This is a tweet that she put out today. Um, the liquidity, you know, liquid loans is a fork of uh, liquidity. And liquidity is on a, a Ethereum, but it's called Teddy Cash on a VAX. It did a 50x in 10 days. So for those of you who put money into liquid loans, uh, congratulations. Yeah, I sacked for liquid loans and I sacked for fiat.io. And if both of them do this, 
Oh, God. Randy, be very. Oh, yeah. See, that'll be Randy. There you go. <laughs> I love crypto. Okay. She's talking about our community. Yes, Lunar Crush. Yeah, Hex is trending everywhere, guys. PLSX did a 32x on testnet. Yeah, but that doesn't matter because it's fake. Uh, make sure you follow Katie, guys. She gets really deep into this stuff. Uh, she had a really good. She had a really good tweet about where we stand. Token supplies. Man, it must have been like last week or something then. I'm sorry, guys. Okay. Forget it. I tried. But she was talking about how close we are to launch. And uh, we're not we're not far away, guys. Just takes a little bit more. Where do you go? For for version three. Matty Hallen is a sudden wealth counselor. Yeah, he is. <laughs> he does a very good job. I believe RH wants to be more to be organic, but if he uses them for liquidity, liquidity, then more people call him as a scammer. And once the two is two hundred seventy million is used, then it's a sell signal, which turns to the fuck, man. Do you even follow Hex, Randy? Do you think most Hexkins after this next bull cycle will sell Hex and Pulse because they know the four four year cycles, sell the top and buy back during bear? The, the more the people that do that, the less profound it is. Just remember that. Um, but yeah, of course. White dude with glasses. <laughs> so in the next bull market, should we even consider cashing out into staples? Be careful what staples you choose. I'm warning you guys. Stay away from USDC. Stay away from USDT. Use the one from Liquid Loans. That'll probably be your safest bet. Or RAI or maybe DAI. I'm not sure about DAI, but... We'll see. The yeah, RS drilled it into us with the four-year cycles. Basically, the crypto cheat seat when you buy to when to buy and sell. Yep. The thing is, though, when you're staked, when you're staked, you don't care. You're earning so much yield. And the thing that no one really talks about is that during the bear market, people are early end stake, and and you're going to get massive amounts of extra hex. So you're just putting freaking gasoline on the fire for the next bull run, right? The chances that you're going to catch the bottom are pretty slim, but the chances of you winning those is 100% when people early end stake, as long as you're staked. So if you're earning, say, 25% per year APY and the price goes down 75%, so you really, you're, you're only get a 50% in USD value, but you grew your bag substantially during that time. <laughs> Lights out says, Katie is very intelligent and hot. <laughs> yes, she is. Mango Junkie, two more weeks. I do ETH into new Atomic Wallet, buy Digibyte, and send it to my new Digibyte Core Wallet, back out to another Atomic Wallet, swap back to ETH, Dandelion for the win. Yep. Dan, uh, Epic Cash is, uh, they use the Dandelion protocol as well. That's very cool, man. <laughs> You're all over the place. Is the, uh, Tintop, is the uh, Digibyte community still strong? They've been around forever. Cheers. Merry Christmas to everyone. Mr. Rock Jockey. Good to see you. Michael Light, long test night or short? What's your opinion? Oh, it'll be short. It, it can't be long. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Put it out there. We're all going to be using it every day for like two or three weeks. As long as nothing is reported bad, we don't break any of the shit, he'll launch it. At least I hope. Seems like you're not sacked for famous due to high volatility and less yield. No, I did not sack for famous. I sacked for fiat.io. I'm not... I love Famous. I think the guys are doing a great job. Um, if I get... Depends on how things move over the next couple of weeks, then I might move something into, into Famous. But right now, I'm all fiat.io and liquid loans. Yeah, I have my end stakes to end during the next bull cycle. Nice. I think I have one or two coming out. When we're millionaires, how should you DCA out? Brenton, same way. <laughs> It's the same way you do now. It's just uh, you, a lot of people like to use Kraken because Kraken has lots of liquidity. Um, 
I have friends that use Kraken with their the Panama bank account and they take out 100 grand, 200 grand at a time. I have friends about million dollar houses with transfers from Kraken. You can do it. Get, get ready to party tomorrow. Yeah, it's going to be fun. My wife's going to be here too. Randy, do you think Hedron is worth minting right now when it costs you $3 to mint from your MMO wallet to get 10 cents worth of Hedron? Oh, no, no, it's not worth it. Let it wait. Just let it sit there. Let it accumulate. You'll be a happy customer in a couple of years. It's going to it's going to be sad to see my 1.8 billion PLS sex on the test net. <laughs> Why? Why is it going to be sad, Mike? Cheers, mate. Okay, guys, I am out of here. I gotta get as much energy as I can for you fanatics for tomorrow night. And like I said, I'm not going to market it all over the place. I'm going to try to keep it small because I don't want all the people coming in. Just trying to, to grab some free money. All right. So show up. Let's do this. I don't know about the community. I only care about the liquidity. <laughs> nice. I get, I get it. I get it. All right, gents. Cheers.